Good afternoon, East Texas. This is your TylerPaper.com afternoon news update for Monday, April 29th. Well, one World Trade Center already is New York's tallest building, and when the last pieces of its spire eventually rise to the roof, the 104-floor skyscraper that replaces the Twin Towers will be just feet from becoming the highest in the Western Hemisphere, according to the Associated Press. Now, officials hoped that would happen today, but the weather did not cooperate and it was postponed because of high winds. Now, the event will be rescheduled when conditions permit. On Monday's postponed celebration comes a days after a grisly reminder of the terror attack that took nearly 3,000 lives. The discovery of a rusted piece of airplane landing gear wedged between a nearby mosque and an apartment building, believed to be from one of the hijacked planes that ravaged Lower Manhattan. Now, as officials prepared to erect the spire, the office of the city's chief medical examiner was working in the hidden alley where other debris may still be. Now, the new high-rise is scheduled to open for business in 2014. And in other news today, the AP is reporting that Goodyear and the steelworkers are negotiating on a new national contract covering 8,000 tire workers at six plans. Now, the first round of talks in Cincinnati ended Thursday in recess. Now, with the contract between the Akron-based Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company and United Steelworkers of America expiring on July 27th, both sides had plenty of time and indicated the talks would be in recess until June while they evaluate each other's opening positions. Now, those talks cover workers at plants in Akron, Gadsden, Alabama, Buffalo, New York, Topeka, Kansas, Danville, Virginia, and Fayetteville, North Carolina. As many in East Texas remember in 2006, the company won the green light to close its Tyler plant, and the Union City, Tennessee plant closed after the 2009 contract left its jobs unprotected. Now, the company declined to specify if any plant was on a current hit list to close or if it would seek contract concessions. The union said in a brief update that wages, health care, and pensions topped the list of issues at the bargaining table. And Red Cross officials are saying that nearly 300 families have visited a relief center since the deadly fertilizer plant explosion decimated the town of West earlier this month. Now, Red Cross spokeswoman Anita Foster says the recovery center in West will re remain open through Sunday. The April 17th blast killed 14 people and left about 200 hurt, and investigators are trying to determine what sparked the fiery accident. Now, Foster says Red Cross teams have served about 18,000 meals and snacks since the disaster. The agency has ha handed out shovels, rakes, and work gloves as more residents are allowed back into damaged parts of West and a process that continued today and a boil of water notice remains in effect there as crews repair damaged lines. And the annual Tyler ISD Foundation event, Night of Shining Stars, is coming up Tuesday night. The event recognizes the top 20 graduates at John Tyler and Robert E. Lee High Schools. During the event, students speak about a TISD teacher, coach, or other educator who has most inspired them during their educational careers. Now, this year's theme is Hollywood Stars, with several short videos about memorable movie quotes, music, and motivational speeches to be played at the beginning of the event, which kicks off at 7 p.m. at Caldwell Auditorium. Now check out today's Tyler Morning Telegraph edu education section for a list of the student honorees, and we'll have coverage of the event in Wednesday's Tyler paper. Now here's a look at your weather forecast from our news partner, KYTX CBS 19. Good afternoon. Definitely feels like spring across East Texas as we'll have sunshine through the day and up to 5 o'clock as you head home. It's going to be warm. Temperatures there in the mid 80s. Going on into the evening hours, temperatures by bedtime should be down near 70 degrees. Mostly clear skies expected. They'll remain pretty clear overnight, but toward morning we'll pick up a little cloud cover. It'll be mostly sunny and those clouds should dissipate pretty quickly by early afternoon. We'll be back into the lower 80s. Now your day planner for Tuesday, 65 degrees expected at 8 o'clock, 77 with sunshine at noon, 83 at 5 o'clock in the afternoon and we'll have a south wind. Now we do have some changes coming later in the week and you'll want to know about these. 84 on Wednesday, so still a warm day then, but we will have a cold front coming through late Wednesday night into early Thursday and that's going to make a big difference. It's going to pick up the winds out of the north 15 to 25 miles per hour and drop temperatures about 20 to 25 degrees as we get closer to the weekend. It'll also bring some rain. And thanks so much for watching and make sure to check back for breaking news updates throughout the day on tylerpaper.com.